Hey guys, and today we are doing a video for Instructables. So, I'm only saying this because I'm probably going to put it on YouTube, and if I can't put it on YouTube and share it in Instructables, I'll just upload it mainly to Instructables. But what we're doing is we're learning a little more in depth about my Batch DDoS tool. <clears throat> now, as you can see, I have plenty of Batch files on my desktop here. Each one of these does something different, like, I have a Telnet client, this one will unlock CMD on a restricted computer, and a few other things. But this, we are going to be focusing on unlimited DDoS, and shorty DDoS, because shorty DDoS and unlimited DDoS were both derived from the same thing. Now, shorty DDoS is basic, I just made a shortcut to it to make it look like a real program. Now it works, you just put your IP in, like this would be of your router, Oop. then it's going to ping it to make sure it can actually reach it, then what you do is, it's going to ask you for the next IP address, for the IP host, so I'm going to do 10.0.0.63, that's my step, Oop. I uh, screwed that up, well, can't change it now, but let's go anyway, so you're just going to put your packet size, this will be in bytes, which is, I believe, a thousand bits. A thousand bytes in a kilobyte, a thousand megabytes in a gigabyte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you hit enter, and it will spam that IP with that many bytes. Now, that isn't exactly the best form of the script. So that's where unlimited DDoS comes in. Now, here, it you can see it looks a little better. Provides a warning and a... Uh, I'm not liable for what you do with this warning disclaimer so that I can't get in trouble what you do with this. Well, to continue, you have to hit yes, or y, enter. Then it will load to a more cleaned up version of Shorty DDoS. As you can see, that the one I showed you first was revision 1. This is revision 3 right, three right now. And it works essentially the same way. Yeah, it got the IP right this time. Then we shall do 10.0.0.63. This will work with internal and external IPs. I'm not going to let that run because I don't want to kick someone off the network, but it'll work essentially the same way as a program like LOIC or HOIC. Like here you put your IP in 10.0.0.1 which is my router, you lock on and mess with your configuration and I'm going to charge my laser. I did something wrong, so it's going to warn you. But, now, the next thing I guess I should do is show you inside one of these batch files. Now when I posted these files on Instructables, it wasn't the same size, so it got a little distorted. Now I'm going to walk you through a bit how this works. <coughs> Pardon my cough. First thing we have here is echo off. Da, 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 da. What this does is it sets the file up. Then you can name it whatever you want under title. Then you can choose your color. Color 4 is a uh, red. If you want to know the colors, you can just go to your command prompt and do color set. Then you get a list of colors. So you can do color 4. And that's red. Then, anywhere you see echo, that's just saying, okay, in the command line, repeat this back to me. Which is what I had happening here for thank you for choosing Shorty DDoS, have a nice day. Then all this loading is just to give time for the uh, actual DDoS script or load, which is only about that big. That's magic. <laughs> um... But as you saw in the uh, first revision, it took a while for the host IP to load. It took a while for this part right here to load. Then it took a few seconds to start attacking. Now in this version, it's been fixed because despite putting some filler here, which is the loading, uh, that uh, gave it some time to load. Now, keep in mind, I did not type... Um, those ask keywords by hand. I went to this website. I will link it in 
in the Instructables. Basically, you can just type whatever you want here. But that's not important. But it is a good way to do, like, what I have here is Shorty DDoS, have a nice day, and all the loading. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.